Guys, we need to talk. Recently I saw 15 minutes of opening footage for your new game Battlefield 1. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but thank you. Now hold on. This does not mean my opinion of Electronic Arts has changed. Let me explain. Battlefield, like Call of Duty, has until now been a franchise that glorifies and glamorizes war. They have been little more than military recruitment propaganda in a video game form. Then I saw the opening footage of Battlefield 1 on the Kotaku channel. What I saw was horrific and beautiful at the same time. The text at the beginning were short, yet said so much. This wasn't the opening to a game that portrayed war as flashy and glamorous. The First World War was a seminal tragedy, a conflict that was avoidable, and was pointlessly brutal. It was called the war to end all wars. Yet, it ended nothing, and we are still dealing with its consequences. Dice, I hope you understand the significance of what you've done. You are exposing the youth of today to the truth about war. There is no better setting than a war that was completely pointless. What should have been just a dispute, between Austria, Hungary and Serbia, after the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand became a quagmire of pointless violence that nearly engulfed all of Europe and Northern Africa. Had the Kaiser of Germany not removed Otto von Bismarck, a man once considered the greatest political genius of his time, from office the tragedy of World War I could have been avoided. We cannot change history. But, we can learn from it. Dice, thank you for making a game that shows war as it truly is. While Battlefield 1 might not be the indictment of war that spec ops the line in this war of mine war, it still sends a clear message about the futility of war. The ending to the opening, where the two soldiers stand up in a blasted battlefield with bodies all around them. Where they lower their guns and look around in horror, that says so much. Dice, I don't expect Battlefield 1 to cause a profound shift in collective consciousness away from desiring war. That is already happening on its own. What it will do is make some people think. It will touch them, and hopefully they will learn something from it. While I doubt Electronic Arts will let this become a new trend, my hope is the expected success of Battlefield 1 will lead to more games like it. Games that don't glamorize war, that don't put you in the role of the hero who dominates the battlefield, but as an expendable pawn in a conflict you are forced into fighting whether you support it or not. This is the reality of war. Even today, it really hasn't changed. As the tagline of another game franchise says, War, war never changes. Again, dies, thank you. Also, I would like to say this. I am going to buy Battlefield 1. I know I said I despise Origin. But I have a good reason why I'm going to buy it. We have stated many times on this show that the loudest message you can send a game studio is one cent with your wallet. If you don't like the practices of a specific game studio, then don't buy their games. That is a message they can't ignore. But, if you see something you liked, then by all means buy the game. I'm buying Battlefield 1 because I want to encourage development of games like this. Yes, I am just one drop in the vast ocean. There will be many more who agree with me, or of similar thoughts, and combined we send a clear signal. That we want to see more games like this. Not military propaganda disguised as a game. But games that frame war in a negative light, that show war as it truly is. Games like that, get my vote. And, I vote with my loudest voice, my wallet. Thank you for watching. Thank you, once again, dies for showing the true face of war. Goodbye for now. Greetings. Did you know that the creator of this show also produces videos for the Gamers Bay channel? Click here to visit the channel. His show is in old gamer plays, and you'll also find many other interesting videos. Consider subscribing to receive future updates on new episodes. We will see you next time.